Listen, you're not gonna find anything on me, okay? Trust me. Empty your pockets into the tray, sir, or we'll have to. <sighs> your pockets, sir? Lady, the problem isn't in my pants. No! <gasps> Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. It's time to talk all things X-Men. As always, we have our X-Men historian, the Marvel fish not himself. Doc, how you doing? I am spectacular. Um, thank you for having me, sir. I'm glad you could make it. Did you find any good uh, X Men trades on the on the Black Friday sales? Uh, no, <clears throat> I did some did some looking. Was looking to see if I could maybe score a halfway decent priced uh, X Men omnibus that I might be missing or something, and nothing. Well, I'm sorry. I thought we would have better news, but. Hey, we've got some news to, talk, news to talk about this week. We've got the the Ten of Destiny, X of Destiny, whatever the, the next stupid X pun fucking uh, event that's coming up. Before they've even, you know, obviously completed Ten Lives and Deaths of Wolverine, we've got the latest episodes of X-Men and Wolverine themselves to talk about here, Doc. Are you excited about this? Uh, not in the slightest bit, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but hey, you know what? Let's tr try to figure this nonsense out anyway. Listen, we don't get a pick when it's a good week in X-Men. We just have to talk about it no matter what. Yeah. So let's... Uh, honestly, this is this is so stupid, but yeah, sure. Because we've, we've got a, a world-breaking X-Men event. Have you heard this one before, Doc? Yeah, you know, the it's universe not is like... never going to be the same after Hellfire Gala. Um, yeah, and this is immediately following up on the current world and X ending event that is going on at this very minute that's about the character that the next event is about already. So, and there's an event in the meantime, there's going to be the, the 10 Lives of Wolverine. So, yep. So, th these must all be super duper important. Well, Seems like it's about par for the course for Marvel to not even let the current fucking event. They're actually taking it even further now. You know, we used to bitch that they wouldn't let the current event play out before they start hyping the following event. They're not letting the current event or the next event die down. They're not even letting the next event start before hyping the one after that at this point. What, what the fuck's the point of this? It's proper what? fucked. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is stupid. The marketing department is stupid. I don't like calling things stupid, but this is very stupid. It's hard to get excited about this. I see the, the release, and of course, they don't give a lot of details, but you don't need any at this point. It's just like, wah, wah. I guess 10 lives and deaths of Wolverine isn't that important. It's quite apparent that Inferno is not that important. Uh, I guess the, the big question is, is well, it, I would say Ted of Destiny or Exit Destiny, whatever the hell they want to call this stupid thing, is going to be about the character Destiny, which we're obviously reading up on now in Inferno. Who do you think is going to write this motherfucker? Obviously, it's not going to be Jonathan Hickman. He's not an X-Men writer anymore. I'm going with Jerry Duggan. He's kind of become the de facto head of X, even though they no longer have the position of head of X. Um, he's the tip of the spear? Yeah, he's kind of, yeah, he's he the tip is of something. The, he is the tip of something. Um, he's, uh, he's the tip of the ukulele. Um, and yeah, they're going to, they're definitely doing something here. Um, I mean, you see that he's the guy that gets the takeover for Hickman on X-Men. So it's almost a guarantee that he's going to take over for the man when it comes to events. Um, so yeah, I'm well, leaning what, towards these events. Tooney Howard got an event. Hickman got an event. Leah Williams got an event. Jerry Duggan's already had an event. Ben, he had ben, Gala, right? ben Percy has the upcoming. So... Huh. Are you sure it's not going to be Vita Ayala? Seems like it probably uh -oh. is, is their turn. Yeah, it might be Vita's turn. Oh, shit. This is actually going to somehow get worse. 
Um, you can always get worse, Doc. That's what I've learned here as, uh, as I've progressed on this channel. Yeah. I mean, you would think that they would be smart enough not to. But apparently not. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know who's going to end up writing this Destiny X thing. Uh, but you, you know what? Be a miniseries? Do you think it's going to be a crossover game? Mm, I'm leaning towards crossover. Um, because they've done House of X, Powers of X as a miniseries. There's two miniseries. They're doing Life and Death of Wolverine as a miniseries. They did, they're doing Inferno, Inferno. as a miniseries. Uh, but Hellfire and Sword Party Ten X, Swords. um, all of the both of those, they need to go back to doing crossovers because crossovers help them sell more books that otherwise wouldn't sell um you know nobody's buying excalibur to read the next chapter of inferno but they might buy it for you know destiny x thing um i don't like it, feeling like this doc it makes me depressed I, it, it it does make me depressed too it seems like uh, another case of them not having a goddamn clue what they're doing. Um, and you know what? To be honest, the, the the solicits on this read like it's about to undo all of the stuff from uh, House of X, Powers of X, when it comes to the 10 lives and death of, Mo of Moira. Uh, up until this point, that this is her 10th life. Um, this feels like it's in the process of undoing it. And I hey, don't I say know undo why. all of it. I none of it exists anymore. Yeah. I, I say, go back to, um, pretend the Krakoan era never happened. Pretend the, uh, the blue, gold, and, and red never happened either. Well, yeah, but, um, if we, if we gotta, if we gotta pick a stopping point inside the last, like a reset point inside the last five years, I would definitely take the beginning of the color era over, or even the end of the color era over this. Honestly, I'd be happy to go back to Rosenberg's Uncanny X-Men run from, what, two years ago now? Two and a half years ago? We can go back to that, and I won't have any real objections. All right, well, let's get to these comic books because it doesn't get better, unfortunately. No, There's no happiness to be had on this week in X-Men because it was pretty much all bad. We got X-Men number five, Jerry Duggan, Javier Pena. This comic book seems to get worse and worse each week. This week, I will, I'll give it this. The art by Javier Pena is pretty good, and uh, he certainly is doing his best to you know, put out his inner Pepe Larraz style art. Yeah. I mean, the art was not terrible in this, but it wasn't great either. Like, none of this was really terribly... I mean, look, this is this is another issue of Jerry Duggan not actually wanting to write anything about the X-Men. But, you know, the but we but had a competent this writer. Worse because... We jump into the story midstream. They never explain how you even got here. It's just everyone's drugged up on darts. But the big thing, and I guess it's the one thing they want you to know about this comic book, is that Lorna is a is doctor. Special. Yeah, she's she's a doctor. Lorna's even a doctor. Even the bad guy concedes we should call her doctor because she earned it. Yeah, she's a doctor now, and apparently we actually give a shit. Um, you know, nobody like this 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 issue yeah the art was competent but the the the, the story itself was a mishmash of nonsense um first we get them all darted out and apparently lorna wakes up from her dart fast but the girl with the healing factor is still doggy yeah, and and Lorna does not think at any point to pull the metal spikes 
that are probably still containing whatever knockout poison is there out of the girl with the healing factor. Oh, it, says it, it attacks her X gene. You know, for a goddamn doctor, she's not very fucking smart. Um, and then, you know what? And then the thing you know what, the whole what doc- my favorite part, Doc, is when she says, I don't need to see because she's been like flash banged and her eyes yeah. are like, uh, her rods are overwhelmed so she can't see it. She says, I can see in the electromagnetic spectrum. That's still seeing. Doc, yeah, visible light is within the me- F- electromagnetic spectrum. What the fuck are you talking about? For some yeah. reason, Jerry Duggan thinks that means magnets. Yeah. Um, that that's still that's still seeing. That's, if that's you, the exact same thing if, as seeing. If you type electromagnetic spectrum into Google, the first picture that you're going to have, you just click on it. It shows you the different uh, wavelengths yeah. and what they're used for. And one of them is, shockingly, visible light. Yes. <laughs> the entire every all of light is on the electromagnetic spectrum it's in a very narrow band of it yes we maybe jerry doesn't know this but we're all born with uh receivers that are perfectly tuned into that band of the electromagnetic spectrum and that's why we can see light yeah yeah everything from um you know cosmic waves radio waves radiation uh ultraviolet all that stuff guess what is on the exact same spectrum as visible light the things that we see and you know for being a doctor you know there there, there was a lot of examples of an idiot trying to write a smart person here in this in this comic i caught that one i also caught the one about the dispose or whether or not the rods needed to be in or out of the uh oh, the, the, the reactor yeah to, to to prevent a meltdown and he it's like he couldn't find the answer to this question when he tried to google so he just claimed that the girl who has a doctorate in some sort of physics didn't know this answer um yeah this is this was this was another case. This is Dan Slot itis, where it's an idiot cli- trying to write a smart person, and just and then, ends up writing an an idiot faking a smart person. We see that it's Doctor Stasis that's kind of putting all this uh, in in motion. He's monitoring everything, and at the end we get the uh, it was it's a Ben um, the report Ben Uric Ben Uric uh, let's. Let Cyclops know. We know that you're resurrecting, and I'm going to write a story on it. Except for he oh, says, "Why have the X Force killed this guy yet?" Like this. Well, except for he actually says, "I'm not going to write the story, but I'm giving you." It's like he. I'm he giving had, you time to think about it before yeah. I publish the story. He's still writing it. Yeah, but um, he is going to publish the story. I'm surprised uh, Wolverine hasn't, you know, turned him into a, a shish kebab. Yeah, that's kind of the purpose of. Uh, X Force, and nope. Apparently, seems like a pretty big state secret. Yeah, um, should be a big issue, but this time, no, no. It se- it seems like okay. Well, Cyclops is just gonna not do anything about it. Let yeah. Ben Eric walk away, and this, this is yeah. shitty comment. I'm going to be generous on this and give it two out of five because I did think the art was better than than you thought it was, but the writing is terrible. It's probably it should be a one point. It's a one point five out of five. I'm not giving this. I can't go to two. That's you're bordering on terrible at that point. Yeah, I agree. I agree on that. Um, one point five. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, they they try to. Um, acknowledge or, or kind of address the fact that every single issue of this fucking comic to this point has been X-Men fight random giant monster that nobody gives a damn about. And it well, even apparently starts, these are these were resurrected villains. Well, this time, apparently, yeah, it's the Reavers. Yeah. Um, and but they all got like one of some of them now have sort of mutant powers instead it's like he didn't even know what the reavers were too because 
The Reavers are fucking cyborgs, dude. I didn't Not, get it either. Yeah. They don't have like swirly tentacle arms. They are cyborgs. Well, they wouldn't be able to be resurrected. Yeah. Well, they no, I mean, look, the the, the Reavers have kind of sort of been resurrected a couple of times because all you gotta do is add more robot parts to them. I didn't and, see robot parts, Doc. But there were no robot the problem is he doesn't understand who the Reavers are because they don't have these these Reavers don't have robot parts. Yeah. That that Rob- comic book sucks. Yeah. We we can't get that one anymore. Time. Let's get to Wolverine eighteen. Just as bad. It, ben it, Percy's Wolverine has been spiraling downward at the same time. X Force actually probably started a little bit earlier. This time we have Lon Medina on art. I don't really have anything nice to say about the art. I don't I like Mom La Medina as an artist. I do not like this comic book. I don't feel like he had very much time. Um, I've generally speaking like the, the Bannister story whenever the CIA agent is in there, but, uh, this is just a confusing mess. It, it, it really was because I mean, all of the things that we warned about in the last issue about Maverick, just magically showing up and being super conveniently there and Wolverine apparently, I swear to God, Wolverine became went from being the most suspicious member of the X-Men to the most goddamn naive little girl of, of a member of the team here that just goes like, he's like that really trusting child now that will just go with any, Hey, you know, my mommy told you, my mom, your mommy told me to pick you up. You should definitely get in my car. That's what Wolverine is. Like, he's the kid that actually falls for that now. Yo, no, that's not Wolverine. I mean, so first, we're doing the same thing as X-Men did, where I I started this book and I had to restart it like three times because I'm like, wait a second. Did I miss an issue? Like, what the hell? Like we we start we stopped the last issue with Wolverine and Maverick starting, you know, going out to and kind of a couple members of X Force going out. And he he Maverick was now using they were what using his submarine. I can't, I think that was it. Yes. Um, and then this issue just starts with Je- him in Jeff's uh, hotel room and Maverick has double crossed them already and now he's the bad guy. What the hell happened? Did I miss oh, an yeah. issue? He's just sniping people and murdering people and then you find out, you know, he, he meets up with the CIA desk officer. They're trying to find out where this bug came from. It's clear it came from Krakoa. Forge is like, yeah, I made this. No one asks, well, like, well What's this fucking serial number? Who did you check it out to? Like, you, you got to sign for this stuff, right? You don't just give it out willy-nilly. And uh, nobody knows. He finally talks to the CIA desk officer, who I th- thought was the bad guy. Yeah. And she dies. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand. What's, what's the story the- being told here? I have no idea. No, none of this makes sense. It's just, and th- it's more and then, and then, and then. There's There's no story here. I mean, look, when when the, the 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 head of like the X desk for the CIA, if she's in the same restaurant as or diner as Wolverine, you think she'd probably know. She'd probably be able to recognize him sitting in the cowboy hat at the counter drinking coffee and wouldn't be able to just, you know, kind of eavesdrop on them. Um, Bannister probably wouldn't be able to just walk in like nothing here makes sense. How the hell does he get a meeting with her? How does Wolverine not get spotted? Where the hell did the Mercs, you know, did. And why are they all so upset that they destroyed that one building all of a sudden that, that happened like a year ago? Where they were yeah. selling, like, you're auctioning off Wolverine's hand or whatever. And all of a sudden, they're wanting revenge. And, and uh, you know, they're chasing that character down. It was like, where the hell did this story come back from? Yeah, you haven't it, mentioned this in fucking months. 
yeah, none of this stuff makes any damn sense. I feel like, look, I, I originally I thought that that Ben Percy was a pretty good writer. I'm I'm starting to see who Ben Percy is without a you know maybe he for a while was influenced by Hickman. And now that I mean, if you were on fucking Slack chat all day with Tini Howard and Leah Williams and Jerry Duggan, you'd check out too, man. Yeah, maybe 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 you're right. Um, because all I know is any degree of competency in his writing has basically vanished at this point. It ghosted. I got, yeah, I I got no idea who this guy named Ben Percy is is that's writing this stuff but it ain't the guy that started off on the first couple of issues of of wolverine and x-force that's all i know um this is some dude that's 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 decided ah fuck it i don't i don't really have to put in the effort because none of the other hacks in this office do so he doesn't perhaps he but he was overwhelmed with 10 lives and deaths of wolverine and just didn't have the time to put in and uh, put together a competent comic book story, but Wolverine is 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 kind of unreadable right now as is X Force. Yeah, and you know what? I think I think I'm gonna read through Ten Lives, Ten Deaths just to see if maybe he has a focused narrative there. I don't know if I will finish that, but after that, unless that is actually like really good, I'm done with both X Force and Wolverine. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll move on. This stuff's getting harder and harder. I don't mind talking crap on comic books. We're having a fun little roast, but when it's the same stuff, every it's like, what am I supposed yeah. to do here? Every what, day, was saying to people. Yeah, every week, every you know month, uh, it's more of the same shit, and and it's really tiring. It is. I agree. So. Is a bad week in X Men. We got a big announcement that makes no sense. We're in the middle of an event book by Jonathan Hickman. We've got a big event that's supposed to lead in the second Age of Krakoa coming up, and now they're already announcing the the event, like the the spring or summer event after that. It, you yeah, know, obviously, uh, they could not give two fucks about the quality, of whatever they're doing. We just had two really bad comics this week. X Men was terrible. Wolverine was terrible. I don't see this uh, looking up anytime soon um i do want to say thank you very much to doc he will be back on monday to talk about a couple of other comic books that weren't up to snuff but it won't be x-men so we can have a little bit more fun doing that yep um uh, um you know i never got around to reading x-force kill shot this week but uh from what i've heard it's sadly not very good so bummer um yeah but we'll be back to uh to roast some non-Marvel shitty comics on Monday.